if you want to know the locations for the Signals of the Sun side quest and the locations where you can find the land, just stay tuned to the end of this video. The first location is going to be right outside Chain Scrape. A lot of these are going to be marked with a question mark, but this one's super easy. You're just going to head straight outside Chain Scrape and you're going to look for this ladder. If you found this ladder, you'll be able to find your way up easy. If you get lost, just use your scanner and it will show you the path. Once you get to the top of the Karja Watchtower, there will be a giant signal or dome or whatever you want to call it. And you got to make sure you grab the lens. This is crucial for the quest. The next lens location, for purposes sake, we're going to say is north of Chain Scrape, where you see here on the map, to the west of the fire, and to the south of the tunnels for another side mission. You know you found the location when you see these ruins and the scavenger chest. Make your way to the top, grab the lens, and we'll move on to the next location. The next lens location will be to the east or northeast, whatever you want to call it from the shelter and the crimson tunnels from the previous side mission. It's a little harder to find, but once you get up there, be sure to grab the lens, unlike me, where I just decided to rappel down. Don't know why, but it looks cool. Grab that lens. The next lens location, you're going to want to take the road listed on the map to get to it. There is no way to get from just climbing up the, on the other side of the rocks. This is going to be just south of where you just complete a main quest. I hadn't done it in this video, but see this road here? This is what you're going to want to take to get up there. It's going to be a long climb. Be patient, but you'll be treated to one heck of a view. For this next one, you will have to advance the main quest to the point where you help Aaron and his buddy with the bristle backs. Once you've done that, talk to the guy that needs to get to the embassy. After that, you can go into the bar and talk to Petra. She'll tell you about the Shadow Karja, and you'll also unlock the quest called the Twilight Path. This is key to getting the lens because they're in the same location, so you're going to run into it no matter what. But if you don't do these two things, you will be unable to get this lens. Once you have the Twilight Path quest, it's going to basically put you right on track to grab the lens. Just make sure you do. You're going to have this cutscene. You're going to be right across from it. It's going to be right up there next to the Stormbird. You're going to need the Stormbird heart for this quest as well. But just make sure you grab the lens and then we're on to the last one. This next one is actually the final location and the same person that will give you the quest. If you just get to Baron Light, it will pop. It will be on the mini map at the top with the green exclamation mark. Just follow that, my path here. You're going to come up here and you're going to find a soldier dragging a dead body. Uh, there is someone else that needs assistance. You need to go help them. And this will also put you by the final location or the first location if you haven't gone to any of the others. Once you have dealt with the machines, you will talk to this NPC with the popping collar. Honestly, what is fashion in this game? She will give you the quest, hand over any lens you have already, or this will be your first one. Once you are done talking to her, the path is going to be right to the right, and there it is. You can't miss it. Just follow it up, and you got your lens. And there you go. That is how you complete the Signals of the Sun quest. I hope this helped you, and if it did, please like, comment, subscribe, and be sure to catch me live on Twitch. Thank you for watching.